Why do we dance to sad Afrobeat songs while ignoring the obvious pain in their lyrics? Is it possible that we as Nigerians have become immune to the idea of human suffering or are the artists themselves simply victims of their own musical brilliance? Think about it. Hold that thought right there while we break this down some more. My name is Bumsha and you're tuned in to the Purple Pill Podcast. Now, typically, uh, a song is composed of two very important parts. There's the beat and there's the vocals, right? Now, the vocals contains the lyrics. So, essentially, you have the beat and the lyrics. The beat moves your body while the lyrics move your mind. But, on the whole, they are both supposed to speak on the topic. But what do you do when the beat makes you feel like dancing while the lyrics makes you feel like breaking into tears? What do you do when Afrobeat serves you sweet sorrow? Since we're speaking Afrobeats, right, uh, let's, let's go into some practical examples. Now, do you remember the song Alcohol by Joe Boy? Uh, let's jog your memory a bit. I sip my alcohol, I don't want to reason my things no more. I don't want to go back to where I did before. Make nobody stress me, don't disturb me, ja, ja, ja. You know, when Joe Boy spoke about how he created the song Alcohol, he did mention that he was in a very bad place when he composed that song. He was under a lot of pressure and alcoholism for him felt like an escape from his sorrows at that moment. But guess what? The song was so brilliant, it sparked off a TikTok challenge that shook the whole of social media. Uh, just to show you the, the epic proportions, uh, young TikTokers took uh, to render their own versions of alcohol. Uh, check this video out. Now you see how disturbing the idea of sweet sorrow can be, especially when it recommends alcoholism as an escape route for depressed young people. But you know what they say, it's only a TikTok challenge, right? Fine, moving on. Last year, Bruno Boy dropped a song about heartbreak and loss, a song created from a place of pain. But the song was so good, it became one of the biggest songs of 2022. You know what I'm talking about. I guess Nigerians couldn't resist dancing to such sweet sorrow. And one thing's for sure, Bronner's ex may have made him cry, but he cried all his way to the bank last year. And that's on period. Anyway, so this year, uh, Libyanka drops another sad Afrobeat song. But this time, she does not make us dance. She makes us listen. So we listened and we got it. In fact, some really great covers came out of that song, like this one right here. Cause I didn't nobody there for me. I don't cry, tired. Cause I don't scream, I don't shout, tired. Hoping I don't lose my mind. Cause life really sucks, past vampire. And this one too. I've been looking for some fuel for the past five days. She I get on me. She the government to send us me. And we know come get the woe cause the band they hold back Naira. She I get on me. She the government to send us like them before the people, people, people. But them don't really send you. Them don't really send you. Then, Omale drops So So. The beat for So So was so mesmerizing that it actually took many of us a long time before we realized what the song was actually saying. was when we realized that so so is a cry for help so so is a song of despair so so was made from a place of pain but 
it's a banging joint, right? Uh, so here we are again, a torn between two reactions. Do we react this way? Or this way. Truth be told, many of us have danced to heartbreak songs from Omale in the past, right? In fact, if Afro Depression had a playlist of its own on Spotify, I'm pretty sure Omale would be a top contender for the poster cover. But there is something about Soso that hits us very differently. So, if you've listened to So So lately, I probably felt the same way I did when I realized what he was actually speaking to. It is okay to stop dancing and actually show some concern. Ask questions and find out how your favorite artist is doing because a cry for help is still a cry for help. Even if it is set to music, even if it makes you want to dance, it is okay to reach out and say, dear friend, how are you doing mentally? Because Soso may not be able to take all of Omale's pain away, but you just might know who can. Here's a clue. Episode 3 of the Proper Pill Podcast. God is a therapist. After all, life is not red or blue. It's purple. <laughs>